All right, y'all, this is JC, and we in the lab, and this is going to be episode one until the shot's gone. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to answer questions that's been asked to me all throughout the year of 2018, you know what I'm saying, since the year's getting ready to close out this December 31st, you know what I'm saying, and we're going to also discuss new things that's happening in the new year. So, until the shot's gone. Okay, so a lot of people been asking several different things over time, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, the first question I want to get into, you know, they asked me, what is it to sacrifice, you know, getting all my equipment and things like that while I got to raise a family? So to me, you know, to make a sacrifice, it got to be a serious move, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why it's called a sacrifice. It's only a sacrifice because I got the kids, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. I got my wife and my kids. But bottom line, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to me, it's gonna show how serious they should take a situation if ever they do, you know, sacrifice. So I got a son that's playing football, you know what I'm saying? One that's about to play football, one's supposed to play basketball this year. And upon the sacrifice, man, you gotta be serious about it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get all this stuff just to be like, ooh, I got it, I got it. I got this stuff in order to be able to make my music sound more professional. They should definitely take the same stretches and go through the same things in order to do you know, what I did, you know, make it more professional. So if they playing football, you want to make it to a professional level, you got to do certain things. Uh, also, as a grown man, you know what I'm saying, uh, I'm supposed to show how serious I am in the situation. You know, with my parents, you know what I'm saying, my dad raising me, you know what I'm saying, it seemed to me that everything he did was serious. My grandparents, they were serious. So I like to think that this would be a sacrifice to show them. All right, another question I had asked, you know what I'm saying, was uh, how does that, you know, me messing with the music, how does it affect my family time? Involved with family time, I mean, I know certain people, they do too much with their families. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is family, this, family, that. And the thing is, the reason why I say it's too much, because you're still young, you know what I'm saying? You mess around and get old. Your kids should have some memories. You gotta make those memories, but that's in small time around the house too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when it boils down to it, I like to think that this would also be a memory. Um, as well as I like to encourage them to do music. You know, my second son, he plays saxophone. So while he playing this saxophone, you know what I'm saying, it'd be pretty dope to me if he gets that as serious as I was about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, it started with the sax, then it went on to me rapping, and then now I'm making beats, doing all this, you know what I'm saying? So, hmm. That's how I almost go. About the things I did in 2018 though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I dropped eight singles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got service all the way to uh, hashtag me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you definitely can find me on uh, Spotify, YouTube, Deezer, and Nami, iTunes, uh, Google Play, everywhere where you can get a subscription that you're gonna find me. 2019, I plan on making my name a household brand. I plan on trying to do a song per week, so it's 52 weeks in the year, you're gonna have 52 singles. You know, I got my first single dropping, here on January 4th, it's called New Heights, you know what I'm saying? And secondly, you will be able to catch uh, my next song, QPN, stands for quarters, pennies, nickels, and that will be dropping January 11th. And then just moving forward from now, I like to have songs that's ready to drop ahead of time, you get what I'm saying? So right now, I'm two weeks in the, the month of January for 2019. And bottom line, man, I mean, I'm just gonna constantly be feeding you guys different music. I'm gonna get out there and start performing. Uh, you might catch me in front of some record labels. I mean, who knows? Me as an underground artist, I feel it's important to keep on making content because I believe in me and I love my craft. So basically, Broken Records is just gonna climb up from the mud. And I hope you guys are prepared for that climb. Until the shot's gone, I mean, that's what it's all about. I want y'all to know that, uh, <clears throat> I'm not too hard up, I'm a person, you know what I'm saying? Just like every other musician, they people as well. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I'm just trying my best to make sure that this business gets off the ground. Uh, you know, every artist that comes my way, they, you know, take the game serious. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, anybody that I work with, I hope that they just as serious as me. You know what I'm saying, bottom line. You know, but anyway, the shot's about to be gone. And I just want y'all to know, keep your eyes open. Can't go kid doing my thing. So y'all keep on the good foot, man. Do what you gotta do. Peace.